Hi. I am having the time of my life, although I think it's going to take me a couple months to remember and process the time of my life because it's a little crazy out here, you know, 20, 22 hour days. And that's the norm for CES. And every year I think, man, how do we do this? And every year I'm just that intrigued to have to run around and see everything myself. So it's Kid in a Candy Store, Super Bowl, all the things this week for sure. I, t I take photos with my smartphone of every single thing I see and keep a running uh, visual diary. That's the only way I can do it, honestly. I, I gotta ask you about that self-cleaning uh, bathroom. Really? Uh, right, I know, I know, in the know. really, really category, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that and say that the next time I talk about it for sure because that's exactly what it is. The Toto Flotation Tub, uh, is the world's first zero gravity bathtub. Makes your bathroom feel like a space station. So its promise is that it'll put you in a meditative state through the experience of total weightlessness. Uh, you know, these things exist. You have to go somewhere else usually for them and pay a bunch of money and they make you feel kind of claustrophobic. This is open. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, now you can have this in your own home uh, as long as you can spend almost $19,000 on it because that's how much this one bathtub will set you back. So I don't know, it'll be a while before I can afford anything like that, but man, I can't wait to try it. And I think you'd have to have a little more space for it because you'd have to have the space to lay out your whole body in your bathroom. That's exactly right. So you have to have the space and the cash and you can not only get that out of Toto, but you could get the Neo Rest NX2 Smart Toilet which features high-tech sensors to automatically open and close the lid. Eh, that's cool, right? No big deal. But then it can also clean you in a various variety of ways, as well as clean itself. So it's a self-cleaning toilet. Uh, it even has built-in bowl deodorizer, which some people love so much they're willing to pay almost $13,000 for that. So when it comes to smarter homes, boy, the sky is the limit, especially with these smart toilets this year. <laughs> it, it, pl it plugs in, it syncs up uh, to your Wi-Fi in your home as well as Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth enabled. And yes, you can put it in an old home. Uh, it actually uses quite a bit less water than the average toilet. So it, it takes into consideration all of that, but you can put a, the newest toilet in the oldest home and it's going to be a, a strange look but awfully awesome feel according to the company. I know, can you believe that? One in every three of us don't get enough sleep at night. So Sleep Number has this 360 smart bed. It is packed with crazy high-tech sensors that measure tons of biometric data points every single night. It's able to automatically adjust as you sleep. It senses your movements to perfect firmness and support without disturbing your peaceful sleep. And then what's new on that this year is they have Sleep IQ that helps give you a much more personalized night of rest. It's almost like a personal sleep coach. So that's pretty great too. It, it, in those data points, it measures your heart rate, your breathing rate, so incredibly high tech. This is out now and starts at just under a thousand dollars. It's, I, you know, I'm not sure, and I would hate to give you any kind of uh, medical claims. My mom uses one of those, so I know really, really well about those. It definitely adjusts to help you sleep in the, the best position for you, but I'm not sure if it would, it would allow you to go without a CPAP. I'm just not sure about that.
Third, uh, nearly 19 grand for that tub. But you know, $1,000 is about the average amount people spend on a mattress, then to get one with all the smarts to actually enable you to get a better night's sleep, I think that's a fair trade-off for that, uh, just under a thousand bucks. <laughs> well, right with the snoring, the hot, cold, all of that, I completely agree. Well, we've seen all kinds of, of smart appliances this week. There are, uh, I know the Whirlpool refrigerator can speak to the Whirlpool oven to help you cook uh, just exactly what's in your fridge. It'll help you through an app, find out exactly what you can make just based on what's available in your refrigerator. You can even schedule to wash dishes through an app at a certain time of day. Lots of, of stuff like that. Um, but. Uh, what I've really gotten really intrigued with is a ton of these new gadgets that really help in the area of health and fitness and, and wellness. There's this big wellness tech push here this year, which I really haven't seen before, where they're really encouraging people to get more sleep. Um, Ariana Huffington was here yesterday speaking to us about that. And there's also something uh, like pain relief gadgets, which I thought was really interesting. You know, there's a big opioid crisis in America, and there's a device that is called the Quell 2.0. It's an amazing wearable for drug-free pain relief. I thought that was pretty great for a lot of people out there. You wear it, yeah, you wear it just below your knee, and it sends these neural pulses to your brain that trigger a natural pain relief response in your central nervous system. That's 2.0 just updated, just released with uh, new features, uh, AI, artificial intelligence features with its app, so it can learn about you and over time really tailor and customize your, uh, your pain management through that app, which I think is really, really neat. And that is available now for just under $300. So the idea of new tech to tackle chronic pain, I really like that. It is, it works off of that same principle, but then with high-tech futuristic smarts to make it just that much more awesome. <laughs> They've just let me know that I am putting five to six miles in of just walking the showroom floors every day. One of the things that, that I picked up uh, two days ago here at the show actually helps, most people don't know this about me, but I have mild hearing loss, basically from listening to music too loud, going to too many concerts over the years. And that's something that happens with a lot of people. Uh, my age, you know, it's not just your grandfather's hearing aids that we're dealing with anymore. And, and there's one that I have here in front of me called the Ergo Neo. Um, it's a nearly invisible new hearing aid that's packed with enhanced auditory tech and tons of new features like going 16 hours on a full charge. It quit, quick charges in its own case. It's built so you can't really see it and you can adjust all kinds of different settings in a, in a companion app. That's really, really cool. I, I just think that again, like solving kind of some of these age old problems with new tech is pretty special. And then we also have waterproof Aftershocks Cross Trainers headphones. They use bone conduction tech to transmit sound to your ears through your cheekbones, even underwater. So imagine you're swimming laps at the pool. You can listen to your music, podcasts, audiobooks. The the tiny unit can hold up to a thousand songs. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's the, very cool. right. Yeah, and there's usually a problem with even uh, water-resistant headphones that they distort as you uh, kind of cut and slice through the water. These sound just amazing. They ship this spring at a cost of 150 bucks.
Oh, it is absolutely my pleasure. Uh, I also want to make a prediction on what I think will be the best laptop of the year, at least top three of the best laptops for the year. Uh, Dell just unveiled it. It's uh, the 13 inch revamped XPS 13. Already one of the best out there. It's been a fan favorite for years, known for sleek, stylish edge to edge displays, but they fixed what has been the biggest pain point of it. It took engineers two years to figure out how to actually embed the teeny tiny HD camera above what's really this edge to edge display that's called the infinity edge and it set the standard for laptops having more screen space they were able to put it above the screen, not below. No more looking up your nose anymore when you want to, when you want. <laughs> That's been, that was the last problem and they actually fixed it. None of us in the tech world thought they could. That's available now as well, starting just under 900 bucks. So that alone is less expensive than some of the newer smartphones today. Jennifer, have yourself a great day and thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, have lots of fun. Thank you so much.